arm enhanced signals is any gestures or motion that conveys information or command. This is an essential knowledge that surveyors must know. It becomes their way of communication when they are in field since sometimes it is difficult to communicate verbally due to distance and disturbances. Indicates 0 to 9. Numerical hand signals that points out whether the number is 0 or between up to 9. Error. These hand signals indicate the difference between computed value of a quantity and the true value of that quantity. Decimal point. A hand signal that separates the whole number and the fractional part. right or left direction these signals are given by the instrument man when lining in the target on a predetermined line move right or left this signal is given by the instrument man while lining in a target on a predetermined line it is given by moving the appropriate hand outwards in the shoulder Slow motion of the hand means that you must move a long distance. A quick, short motion means that you must move a short distance. Give me a box. This signal is given when the instrument man wants to target help at a previously indicated point. It is given by extending one arm upward with the palm of the hand forward. Right is given by the instrument man while the alignment is okay for the plumb line. A range pull, a straight, a hub, or any other device used as a target. Or when the instrument man has finished all activities at your location, it is given by waving both arms up and down while extending them out horizontally from the shoulders. If the instrument man is aligning a target, extend both arms horizontally from the shoulders without waving them. The signal means that the target should be held steady while a quick line of its position is being made. Give me a line. This signal is given by the roadman or the chairman. It is intended to indicate a hub or to ask for a line on this point, indicating the exact location. It is given by holding a range pull horizontally overhead, then moving it to the vertical position in front of the body. Sometimes the range pull tip is set on the ground to serve as a pivot. Then the pole may be swayed slowly to the left and to the right until the instrument man picks up the signal. Move back is a pull back or move away or backward. The instrument man gives the signal by extending one arm out horizontally from the shoulder, hand and forearm extended vertically and moving the hand and forearm outward until the whole arm is extended horizontally. Pick up the instrument. The party chief gives the signal by imitating the motions of picking up an instrument and putting it on the shoulder. The party chief or other responsible member of the party gives the signal, directing the instrument man to move forward to the point that has just been established. Raise or lower the target or up or down. The instrument man gives the signal by extending one arm out horizontally from the shoulder and moving it upward and downward. This directs the rod man to slide the target up or down on the rod. The chief of party gives the signal at the end of the day's work and at other times as necessary. The chief of the party or the instrument man uses the signal 
to direct any members of the survey party to come in or assemble. Plump the rod. The signal to plump the rod to the desired direction is given by extending the appropriate arm upward and moving the hand in the direction. The top of the rod must be moved to make it vertical. Establish a turning point. This signal is given when the instrument man wants a turning point established during traversing or leveling operations. It is given by extending either arm upward and making a circular motion. using a leveling rod and applying method described in number 4. Wave the rod. This signal is a key to obtain the lowest stadia reading. Thus, this gesture is given by the instrument man to the line man. Face the rod. This signal controls the rod man to face the rod towards the line of sight. the rod. To signal the reverse the rod, the instrument man hold its one arm upward and the other downward, then reversing their positions with the full side arm swings. Forward. Raise both arms horizontally from the shoulders, palms up, then swing the forearms upward to signal move forward. Use the long rod. This signal is used by the instrument man or woman if he or she wants the leveling rod raised and held with its bottom end at a specified distance. It is usually about 3 feet above the ground. 